My name is Dean, and I'm in Japan, where my team and I are about to embark on the adventure of a lifetime. Join us as we try to create Japan's first ever adventure travel show, told through the eyes of foreigners. Previously, Dean created a pilot episode of a TV show he called Runaway, which led him on an adventure from Tokyo to the top of Mount Fuji. With his friend Dario, they ran, skated, and cycled to reach Japan's highest mountain, pushing themselves to their physical limit. The four day adventure was a huge success, leaving audiences wanting to see more. Now, Dean plots a new adventure going further and longer than ever before. Japan, the land of the rising sun, is one of the most populated countries on Earth with 127 million people, 98% of whom are Japanese. It's also the fourth most visited country and the most visited island in the world. Tokyo is the capital and by far the most populated city, with an increasing number of foreigners settling here to work. British model and actor Dean Newcomb has lived here for almost six years. So I've been in Japan for basically five or six years. I came here originally to model and I thought I was going to be here for three months, but I've ended up being here much, much longer. It's so natural that after working as an entertainer here for more than half a decade, that eventually I would have my own content and my own story that I would really want to share. The first episode which we called Conquering Our Mountain was an amazing experience. We went away for four days. I believe we did something nobody had ever seen before. I guess for me that wasn't the end of the story. That was only uh, a way of me scratching the surface of what Japan has to offer. I want to go away for 50 days and shoot consecutively and have a complete adventure all the way through Japan. And the most important thing about this trip is just like in the very first episode that people saw, we won't be going with trains, uh, cars. The story that we're going to be telling and the soul of Japan that we're going to be discovering will lie in between those main famous points that everybody else has heard of. How the heck do you make a TV show on your own? Hmm. How hard can it be, right? Today, Dean will pitch his concept for a full season of Runaway for the first time and do so in Japanese to someone well-connected in television. それはいろんなこうね、いろんなこうエピソードを踏んで上でいろんな人と会っていろんな経験をしてっていろんなことを感じてもらって初めてこれが日本だなみたいなの答えを一個一個出してた方は多分いいかなと思うけどねそうだよ
could you have cast members that could also act as crew? And getting them to do uh, other roles as well. Yuya and Dean soon come to the conclusion that having a team of presenters and a crew of filmmakers will be logistically and financially difficult. This leads them to the unique idea of having team members who can be both cast and crew. If every person who has a job can also help me out and be like in the challenges sometimes with mm -hmm. me, like... This is cool. Yeah. I can really kind of imagine that. So it'll be you and your team. And maybe you can make it into like a, like a Power Ranger thing. So you'll have a color scheme. Uh, Power Ranger colors are blue, red, yellow, pink? Is there a green one? Mm. All right, so, so I'm gonna go ahead and like take red, because right. I wanna be the hero. All right. Finding a team who are physically fit enough to be the cast and talented enough to be the crew wasn't going to be easy. But Dean thinks he knows the perfect first candidate, a fellow member of a Tokyo-based action team. Ladies and gentlemen. The Quiet Flame stunt team members come from all over the world, but it's a fellow Brit that Dean has his eye on recruiting. My name is Duncan and I'm from England. I come from a very, very small village in the centre of England. Very, very beautiful place. Um, and I'm a martial artist, a stuntman, a videographer and a motion graphic designer. So I'm just like a bit of everything really. <laughs> I've been to Japan three times now. Well, this is the third time. Uh, first time I came to Japan was when I took a three week vacation. Loved it. Such a fun experience. So if you've never been to Japan, I suggest going. I initially met Dean um, at Stunt Workshop. Um, it was through a guy called Chuck Johnson, who I do a lot of training with. And I was so surprised, I could hear an English accent. I was like, ah, oh, you're from England? He's like, yeah, yeah, whereabouts? I'm from Nottingham. I'm like, oh, wow, I'm from Derby. That's like 30 minutes drive. It was super, super close, but we didn't know each other. And I mean, what is, what is the soul of Japan, really? That's what we're asking ourselves. We've got to try and find. We're trying to find this. I think from my own experience, from what I've seen already, I've experienced something like the heart of Japanese people. And I think the more, uh, the more we go off the beaten track, the more local people we meet, there's the chance we'll definitely find something special. I think that's where the soul is. Coming up next, Dean is in search of more teammates. Ideas become reality and new information reveals that Dean's window of opportunity is closing fast.